All right, guys, we are at Brian's house, W7JET, and we are getting ready for field day. We're setting up everything ahead of time so we know what we have and uh, know that everything works. So let me go ahead and show you what we got. We got the, uh, what is a field day uh, committee here. We're getting uh, solar set up. So what we have here is a battery bank of, uh, how much do these cost? They're 120 bucks for a pair. They're for a pair, and these are 35 amp hours. Amp hours. We got two of them each, uh, and so we connected them together in parallel. And then we've got this uh, running out to this is one of our solar panels here, but we got another solar panel out here. So there's two of these panels. This is one of the two panels we have for field day solar panels, and uh, it's uh, going to this charge controller right here. Dan is measuring that right now to see what the out output is. That's the panel side, about 32 volts. Okay. And so we should be charging the battery and 12.19, 12.78. Okay, seven. Okay. Uh, and the output. Okay, so we've got uh, solar panel then uh, to charge controller, and then charge controller goes over to this battery bank. You want to talk about that, Dan? So here's this other cell phone, cell, uh, solar cell. So we got two uh, sealed lead acid batteries for field day. And I can't remember the 35 amp hours. 35 amp hours each. And we hooked them up in parallel. So we'll get double the capacity. So the solar panel is going through the charge controller. And the charge controller is regulating the voltage and charging the batteries. And then from the battery set, we have another set of cables that are coming off that will go off to our uh, radio. Okay, can you speak about the radio? On the air particle, I've got all the ladder line to do it. Yeah, this is uh, one that we bought. The club bought two t uh, Kenwood TS 590s um, for uh, club ac activations and stuff. So we'll be having these at, both at field day. Um, one of them also has the uh, the voice module in it. So if you are blind or visually impaired, you can uh, hear what the radio is doing. So that'll work out really well for some of our club members. And the display shows up really good for field day. So we're looking uh, forward to having a lot of folks operate off from this. So yeah, so we'll have two, st two identical stations then, right? Two identical stations with uh, uh, identical fan dipoles, identical uh, charging and everything. So we won't even have to run the generator. So it'll be even more quiet for field day operations. Is that brand new? Uh, well, not brand new. It's new to it's us. New to us. All right. Cool. I'm actually changing so, the name from the guy that owned it beforehand. Oh, yeah. That's pretty neat. Okay, so, so they, we. So it didn't come with a stringer for at the end. Nope. So what? Uh, freak, oh, this is well, a fan dipole. What uh, bands are we doing? So this is, this is six, ten, fifteen, twenty, and forty. This is a commercial purchase. Yes. Do you need uh, another monkey on there? Not yet. <laughs> so what are we doing, Brian? We're stretching it out We're to. Stretching it out so we can kind of get the wires organized and ready. These go that way. So that they'll go up properly. These go that way. And there you have it, the Field Day Committee wanted to give you a quick behind the scenes look at what we're doing to get ready for Field Day 2021 at Lost Eden. Well, the club will have two identical uh, HF stations set up for you, complete with Kenwood 590 HF rigs running off from a combination of battery and solar power, along with having uh, each station will have multi-band band dipoles as well. So come on and join us for the Superstition Amateur Radio Club Field Day 2021 at Lost Eden. We have the gear and we're inviting you to come out and operate with us on June 26th and 27th. We hope to see you all there. 73, have a great day.